Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be using a tool called Secrets Dump to dump out some hashes from a Windows system and trying to crack them. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe and share. And let's get into it and have some fun. All right, folks, so here we are on the desktop. So just to let you guys know, this will be a little sneak peek of what you'll get in the course as well that I hope to have out in the next two weeks. So what we're gonna be doing is doing hash dump, which is a technique to dump Windows hashes onto your machine or off your machine, whatever way you wanna look at it, and utilize those hashes to either pass those around to authenticate to Windows machines or dump it and crack it. So we'll take a few looks at a few different things and yeah, let's get into it. So in this lab, this is the lab that I'll be using for the course. So this will be a little sneak peek for sure. So we have a Windows 10 machine here. We have Pat as the user, but we don't know anything about it, right? We just walked across this. We saw Pat that was logged in, but we don't know anything about that password. We can't get in or whatever, right? So. On our Kali machine, see we have a Windows Server 2022 and we have a Windows 7 machine, Metasploitable, whatever. So when I did my Nmap scan against my network, which my network is 192.168.122.0/24 and I only have a couple of machines, but in the real world you will scan the whole subnet that you're on if you're on an internal assessment. So in this case, we have this machine that responded we have this machine that responded, one, uh, dot one, dot two, which is not anything that we have to worry about right now. And come down here, we have 133, which looks pretty juicy, if you, tell, if you ask me. We have a domain, Kobros, uh, LDAP, so it might be Active Directory, which it is, and the infosecpat.local is my domain. And you can see like, okay, so this might be a domain, this might be a target for me to attack. If we keep coming down here, let's keep coming down. And my next target is 134, <clears throat> excuse me. And we have 135, port 139, port uh, 445, 3389, which is RDP, and so on and so forth. So we can say, okay, this might be a cool target to attack. And this is the, this is the target that we will be dumping our hashes out of. Okay, and then if you just keep coming down, you can see 135, Windows 7. And yes, I do have a Windows 7 machine in this course. The reason being is because I was recently on an engagement that had internal blue for like the dozen time, you know, that I've been doing pen testing. So I thought, you know what, let me just set something up. Let me put it in here and I'll show you guys how to do that. But that's gonna be in the course, how to exploit it, how to set it up. And I will provide you with that VM as well that I set up for this course. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Like 132 SSH, which I'm not sure what 132 is. I don't know what that might be, to be honest. And that's it for, for now. So let's come back over here on a brand new terminal. What we have to do first is run a tool called secrets dump. So I'm just going to use this for, for now. So secrets dump infosecpaths.local, which is my domain. So whatever domain you're using, you can utilize it. A username. So in the course, I show you guys how to get the password. So we have to run a tool called responder inside your network, get Bob as the uh, user, compromise his hash as ltlmv2 hash, crack it, and then we can get his password. And then with that password, we can pass that around. But that's in other videos for the course. So when the course comes out, you'll learn how to do that as well. Okay, so right now we're just focusing on getting the hashes from a machine. So 134 is gonna be the target that we're gonna be targeting, okay? So we dump this out, we hit enter. And now with the credentials and the username, we were able to dump this. Remember, if we come back to our Windows 10 machine, let me just, Pat is the target, right? So let's come back to our Kali machine. I just wanted to showcase that to bring that back to your attention. If we come up here and we can see, let's come all the way up, well, not all the way up. So you can see like the SAM, uh, dumping local SAM hashes, which this is awesome, administrator, guest, 
There's a few of these, don't worry about. Uh, admin, Pat Pentester. So this is the actual account that we wanna target, okay? So what I wanna do is take Pat Pentester, I wanna copy this. So right click, copy, open up a word notepad and paste that here, okay? So now what we have here is the hash and the user, okay? So now let's go ahead and minimize that. Pad-Pentester is the user. So now we have a hash. So what else can we do with this? We can actually authenticate with uh, secrets dump with a hash as well if we wanted to. So let's give that a jingle. So let's do control L here. And let's go ahead and let's just delete all this. And we're gonna do pat, uh, what is it, pat-pentester. So that's gonna be my user at, and the target, excuse me, I need to do colon at, the target is 192.168.122.134. Okay, and then we could do dash hashes and then our hash. Let me come back over here. Let's come back to, not that, sorry. Here, let's highlight this hash, copy this, come back, not to that, sorry, here, and then paste it, okay? And let's see if we can authenticate to there. We cannot. All right, do you know why? Because this is a local user. So now, let's go ahead and give, let, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's do administrator and let's do 134, let's see if this works, okay? Now that's gonna work, and now we're able to dump that. The reason being, the other the other user didn't have permissions. I just did this really quick this morning, so, you know, forgive me. So now, what is this actually doing? What is the whole purpose of this? So what we're doing is, how we got here is, I showed this more in the, class, in the, in the course, we have to have an LLMNR. We take that LLMNR, we pass that around with, you know, the pass the hash with uh, Bob or Pat or Mike or whoever we capture in the, you know, in our environment. And then we can crack that with Hashcat, right? We have Hashcat, we can do the mode for LTLMV2 hashes, we can crack that. And then we can take those cracked passwords and spray that around the network, pass that around the network to see if it sticks anywhere with crack map exec or net exec, right? So once we find a login, we're able to stick it. Yeah, that, that sounds a little weird. So if we find a credential that actually sticks and we're able to uh, authenticate, then we can utilize that to go further in the network, right? We can spray for local local hashes, local admin hashes, et cetera, okay? So now we have this, we have this hash, and this is the last thing I wanna showcase is how to crack that hash if we wanted to. So let's come back over here. Let's take this, let, let me actually do an LS here. And I think I have uh, LTLM Mike's LTLM hash. Let's just do this one really quick because it doesn't really matter whose hash it is. It's, it's the same. It's the same concept, same process. So let's cat Mike's hash. So this is the hash right here, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna use hash cat and not Bob, sorry, it's gonna be Mike. And the mode is gonna be 1,000, uh, 1, because it's, okay. And then Mike's. And then I wanna do user share wordless rocku.txt and see if that cracks. And it already cracked it because I did this in the course. So now let's just go ahead and do dash dash show. And we can see that hash was password one. So that's pretty much it for this video. So I showcased how to use secrets dump, how to dump the hashes, how to take that hash. We can crack the hash and that's pretty much it. And if you wanna get more into this kind of stuff, wait till the course comes out. Once I uh, announce the course, check it out. And I have a lot of fun stuff and it's very beginner friendly. I try to walk through every single step like, you know, it's for juniors. You know, if you're a pen tester today, you know, it might be a little junior for you, but if you're like working in IT, if you're a system admin, a network admin, you want trying to transition to the cybersecurity or penetration testing world, that's more for you. 
and and that's what it's aimed for. It's not aimed for you know a, a media, a mid size or a, a mid level pen tester or a senior pen tester. It's more for juniors. And once you're done with this, you can get maybe a junior penetration testing role. At least you understand some of the techniques from an external, internal perspective and some uh, light web app. Because I'm not a web app expert, but I know a little bit, and I will showcase what I know in the course. So thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.